let's talk about cross curve of stability well one of the type is a gz cross curve of stability and the second one is kn cross curve of stability so in order to understand what is the kn cross curve first we need to understand what is a gz cross curve of stability so these cross curves are set of curves and this gz is computed for an assumed value of kg so these gz cross curves are prepared for an assumed value of kg which is a center of gravity of the ship and for an angle of heel and for any particular displacement we can obtain the value of gz however this can be obtained by inspection and in case the value of kg differs from the assumed kg then a correction is applied so uh, let's examine a very uh, simple gz cross curve so here this is gz on y axis this is 0 1 2 3 4 that is in meters this is minus 1 and this one is the displacement and here it is written that this is for assumed value of kg and there are various angle of heel angle of heel is uh, the inclination of the ship due to some external force and a gz correction table is given here the displacement is given on the x-axis so for a particular value of displacement suppose this is 20,000 displacement and at 15 degree the value of gz will be uh, somewhere here it can be obtained like this suppose this is 20,000 and this is 15 degree curve so the value of a gz can be read from here uh, this is a typical uh, gz curve uh, from a vessel and if we see carefully that these curves are crossing and that's why they are called cross curves of stability now let us examine suppose the vessel is healed now this is the center of gravity and weight force is acting vertically down Similarly, this was the force of buoyancy when ship was upright. However, vessel is inclined. So now this is the new force of buoyancy and uh, this is uh, the new center of buoyancy and force of buoyancy is acting vertically upward like this. So this angle, this GZ, this is the uh, writing lever. Now, suppose kg1 is the actual kg and which is more than the assumed kg okay just let me just correct this so assume kg is k and g but actual kg is slightly higher this is kg1 now if we see carefully that writing lever here is g1 and z1 which will be equal to x and z so g1 z1 will is equal to x and z and if we see here x and z is nothing but a gz okay let me use this color this is gz full minus minus gx so gz minus gx so gz is we just take this gz and what is the value of gx gx is suppose uh, this angle is theta this is the angle of field and now if we see this triangle g g1 and x in this so gx is a gg1 sine theta well we can say that new gz I mean new GZ is the tabulated GZ this is the tabulated GZ and G1 and Z1 is the new GZ 
minus correction so here in this case we need to apply correction and this correction is subtracted so this was the scenario when actual kg is higher than the assumed kg now let's see the reverse scenario suppose actual kg which is kg2 is less than the assumed kg so assume kg is this k and small uh, k and capital g but actual kg is kg2 so now let's do little bit geometry so this is g2 and z2 g2 and z2 will be g2 and y this one and y z2 y z2 we know it very well that y z2 is equal to gz this is equal to gz plus g2y and g2y again this is angle of heel so g2y is gg2 sin theta so new gz new gz will be tabulated gz plus correction so in this case we need to add the correction and uh, this correction is added when actual kg is less than the assumed kg so now let's talk about k and cross curve of stability well gz cross curves are constructed for an assumed kg which we discuss and actual kg can be higher or uh, lower than the assumed kg and if they are constructed for kg is equal to zero if they are constructed that assumed kg is zero then they are called kn curves well kn is the writing lever measured from keel so we just saw that when using gs cross curves the correction is sometimes positive or sometimes negative in order to eliminate this possibility kn curves are introduced and in kn cross curve the correction is always subtracted well we are going to analyze this here suppose this is k and from k we put a normal at uh, force of buoyancy so this is the force of buoyancy here or uh, the center of buoyancy and force of buoyancy is acting vertically upward and i put a normal here this is normal that means this is 90 degree so gz here this one gz is equal to xn this is xn and this xn is nothing but kn that means this distance kn minus kx minus kx and this kx we can write k and kx we can write and this is kg kn minus kg sine theta so here the value of gz can be obtained if i know the value of kn and this kg sine theta will always be subtracted so let me repeat again gz is kn minus kg sine theta and the value of kn for particular displacement is obtained from kn curve or table well the correct gz is obtained by subtracting kg sine theta here kg sine theta is subtracted from kn now let's look at this uh, typical uh, kn curve where gz is equal to kn minus kg sine theta on x axis this is the displacement 5000 10000 15000 20000 25000 and say for 5 degree 10 degree 15 degree 20 degree 30 degree 90 degree and so on uh, these curves are given so suppose displacement is 20000 now from 20000 an angle of heel is 5 degree so we need to see this curve from 20000 less uh, go here let's go up here and whatever the value is here that is the value of kn for 
5 degree. Similarly, the value for 10 degree it will be somewhere here. This is the value of Kn for 10 degree and for 15 degree this is the value of Kn and so for a particular displacement we can easily obtain the value of Kn and the moment we have the value of Kn then we need to subtract Kg sin theta we will find the value of Gz.